Capturing ships is the biggest part of Tortuga Pirate's Tale, so I figured what's the most ridiculous and overpowered ship build I could put together? I'll walk you through that right now. Thank you to Calypso Media for the free game. Arrgh, let's get into it. I've established that the Pirate Galleon has the most boarding strength out of any ship, so I figured that this would probably get the best build out of what I was looking for. But in a strange turn of events, Ship of the Line works exactly for a capturing ship build too. I have two Ship of the Lines equipped for Dayron and myself. Like Dayron Esposito, I will have Boarding Frenzy, Boarding Expert, and Crew Takeover. I'll add some extra sweet spots like Veteran Crew, Bloodthirst, Maniac, and Beloved Ship. Now let's move on to the upgrades. Since the number one focus is to capture ships, I deleted my cannons because I will not be shooting at all. I have the Bloodthirst skill, which rams into a ship and automatically boards them without me having to do a probability check. Because of this, I have the tier 3 ram upgrade on my ship, so I take reduced damage and they take more damage. I then have tier 3 of the sabers and tier 3 of the handguns to increase my boarding strength by a crap ton. While I'm boarding a ship, I don't want to get shot down by all the other ships on the battlefield, so I do have the tier 3 hull to give me the most armor on every side of my ship. And I have the extra armor plating as well. Increasing the boarding strength is really great for a capture ship build, but if you don't have a lot of crew on your ship, your boarding strength is very limited. That's why I have the tier 3 cabin to give me 156 crew and it improves my morale during sea battles. And then of course I have the lifeboat to regain part of my crew after the battle and to regain the other half in the tavern. For Dayron's ship, he doesn't have the ram skill because he doesn't have bloodthirst, so in place of the ram, I just went ahead and added a tier 3 railing to reduce crew damage. But everything else remains the same. That all looks good, but now we need to test it. Just to see how overpowered it was, I attacked a fleet of 6 ships with just me and Dayron Esposito. It's pretty simple, but you see that I have a 494 boarding strength with Dayron. I'm going to activate Boarding Frenzy, bump that up uh, to double the amount to 988, and board a ship. It doesn't matter what ship, just go all in on whatever you want. Now for your own character, I have a 538 boarding strength. Boarding Frenzy will be activated to increase that to 1077, and I will activate the Bloodthirst skill to ram into a ship. You'll be surprised to learn that your ship will take almost no damage, your armor will take almost no damage, you'll hurt the enemy ship, you'll actually kill some of the crewmen on the other enemy ship, and automatically board the ship with that incredible boarding strength over your adversary. When it comes to the minigame, we're just going to hit 90% every single time. Two ships down, four more to go. Also notice that because Dayron and my character have the boarding expert skill, every time we win a boarding combat, our boarding strength goes up. Now we have 1310 with Dayron's boarding strength and 1428 with my character before capturing the other ships. We're going to do the same thing with Dayron, just board ships, activate boarding frenzy when you can, and continue. For our guy, we're just going to do the bloodthirst skill every single time, and we're going to do boarding frenzy. You'll see that Dayron's ship failed, but that's because there is a small percentage chance with every ship capture that they will just blow themselves up to rather not have you take their ship. Luckily, that's why we have another ship. And theoretically, you'd have four other captains with you. I just dismissed them so that you can see the two versus six here. We captured six decent ships. It says the crew lost 203, but that's just because Dayron lost that one ship. You really only lose about 15 to 20 crew members max. With boarding strength, I could outmatch even six King Kong gorillas. And so much armor where you'd have a better chance stealing from Fort Knox. This is the most overpowered build that I could probably think of so far. Now, I did talk a little bit about upgrades, but if you're still having trouble with those, you can check out this video to see all 66 upgrades and what they do. 